More busloads of undocumented immigrant teenagers arrived at a North Texas camp, this time at Camp Arrowhead. It's in Somerville County. This is the third North Texas facility providing temporary housing. The other two are in Ellis and Rockwall counties. Fox 4's Natalie Solis here now with more on the new camp. Natalie. Well, Steve, about 200 youth between the ages of 12 and 17 were bused in today, and the arrangements are very similar to what we've seen already. A rural location that has limited access, making it a little easier to secure. Now, those two buses arrived this morning, one this afternoon to the camp located between Glen Rose and Cleburne. A government spokesperson says the kids placed at Camp Arrowhead today are those from the Ellis County facility scheduled to close this week who have not yet been placed with a local family member or sponsor. County Judge Danny Chambers says much like the other two temporary shelters, local officials were not given much notice by federal authorities. This was just cast on us. We didn't have a clue this was coming. Uh, so people not knowing, of course, you know, the great fear is the unknown. And the main thing is just being able to get the details where we can get out to the people of Sunville County. Camp Arrowhead is expected to close in 21 days. That is the maximum a temporary shelter can stay open without needing a daycare license. Judge Chambers says off-duty Somerville, Johnson, and Hood County deputies are providing security at the facility, so it is not impacting routine services. Now, by law, these temporary shelters can reopen at a later date for an additional 19 days. That's a total of 40 days a year. But right now, that federal spokesperson says there is no plan for Camp Arrowhead had to reopen at a later date after this 21 day stint. She adds that other facilities are opening up across the country to help handle the influx of kids.